All right, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. Join me with my 2004 MR2 Spider. You guys, if you guys haven't seen that previous video, check it out. This is a Phantom Gray Pearl on the red interior. Super, super rare. You guys can check out that video for full in depth. Love this thing. So, so special. Has only 80,000 miles. Just hit the 80,000 mile mark. But as you can see, Everything's pretty flawless with it, except for it just needs to be cleaned up. So in this case, the headlights, as you can see, you guys can't even see through them. So we're gonna be changing that today with the Cerakote Headlight Restore Kit. I've used this before and it works wonders because the ceramic coating instead of the normal wax and polish, it usually just rubs off in a couple months. So let's go ahead, start applying this, gonna pop this front hood and then we're gonna pop it up so that way we can get to some of this inside usually you would tape off this area but because we're not gonna be doing too much sanding on it with this kit like the other ones you don't need to worry about that you can if you want but I'm not going to mostly because I don't have tape right now but let's go ahead and pop this front hood as you can see this thing is pretty dusty here in SoCal it's raining though here but it's already washed so it's not too dirty we got most of the grime off but I have this plastic spray bottle I got from AutoZone, just fill it up with water. I'm just gonna wet it and wipe it down to the best of our abilities. And then we're gonna start with the process and I'll show you guys exactly step-by-step step how to do this. So this is what comes in the kit. This one kit's supposed to do one, oh, supposed to do one pair of headlights, so two headlights. I bought two kits just because of the fact that this is an extreme situation, I feel like. Like this is not a normal amount of oxidation oxidization so it's pretty bad shape looks a little better when it's kind of wet like that but that's what it looks like and i'm going to keep this one exactly how it is so you guys can have a little bit before and after but comes with first this oxidation remover is just then some wet wipes that remove the yellowing on the headlight that you see we're going to do that step one and then you start with these for two to three minutes it's a sanding disc and you can it's an applicator pad it comes with um, you just velcro it on and sand in a non-circular motion then you take that off rinse it off put on these gray ones this is a finer material so just gets out some of the more coarse scratches that you sanded with this one with and then once you dry everything completely you put on this step three ceramic coating so that's that's, that's the final step that gets you the full polished look so I'm gonna go ahead, wipe down this, and I'll show you guys exactly what to do. Comes with gloves as well. I would usually, I usually recommend to put these on. You wanna replace it before you go into step three though, because that's a different ceramic coating material. So you wanna have clean gloves for that. That's why they include so many. So we can go ahead and start with the first wipe. So we just wanna, do this in a non-circular motion. I'm just gonna wipe all the way across, overlapping 50% if possible. Gonna get around the edges. And don't be worried about um, being, being careful with the wipes in terms of saving them because you're gonna have multiple of these wipes. See how yellow that is? We're gonna use the other side now, same thing. I'm just gonna really, don't put too much pressure, but put enough pressure that you're really, you can feel the material coming off too. You can see it on the wipe. Look how dirty that is. So that's number one. I'm gonna keep repeating that process until it gets clearer and clearer and clearer. And then we're gonna wipe it down and everything for step two. Okay, so reading in the instructions, it says you can go in a sideways motion or in a circular motion. So I already used three of these pads, both sides being looking like that dirty. So like I said, if you do get on the paint, you do wanna wipe it off immediately because this is some crazy stuff. Obviously, if it's removing oxidization, it might hurt your paint as well. So. We're gonna do this one in a circular motion, just going all the way across. And this is the fourth wipe. So hopefully we should start seeing these wipes get less and less dirty, but 
on the instructions it says that if they're still yellow and brownish even by the final wipe no problem because we're going to sand them and remove any of the remaining oxidization Yep, still dirty. It's getting better though. All right, this is what the last wipe looked like compared to that first wipe. Pretty big difference. So that was for six wipes. We're gonna do a final wipe down of the surrounding paint. Make sure we don't have any of that remaining oxidization. Look how much better it looks already. After you're done with step one, we're gonna use, rinse it off. And we're gonna use a nice clean towel to remove the water and whatever material is on there. I'm gonna do this multiple times. All right, so it's looking pretty cloudy, like I said it would. A lot less yellow though, so it's still cloudy, but you can tell that a layer of that yellow has been removed. So let's go ahead and start by step two. We're just going to use the same spray bottle. We're going to attach the red pad on here, and we're going to do this for two to three minutes, non-circular motion for this one. Even pressure, and then if you want to get into the edges and remove the Velcro and just get in these corners and hard to reach spots, then we can do that too. You can see that layer just getting removed at the top. Don't wanna to go too hard on this edge because you don't want you to actually start removing important material too, but you wanna get, you might still wanna cover it. So we're gonna focus on this front face first and then we're gonna to get towards that bottom part. All right, so it's looking ultra cloudy now. Wipe it all down and dry it off. And we're gonna do the same thing with now that gray pad two to three minutes, same thing. All right, so once it's completely dry, she looks something like this. No shiny spots, not even on the edges. It's clear, it's not yellow like that as you can see. It's clear, but it is just frosty looking. So that's what you want. We're gonna go ahead and make sure everything's bone dry, even let it sit for a little bit. And then we can start with step three, same thing. You're gonna apply this horizontally top to bottom, 50% overlap and only one coat. Putting more does not mean better. It's, if anything, it's gonna make it look kind of like if you've seen runny paint, this is almost like a paint. So if you put it on there too many times, you're gonna see texture and that's not what you want. You just want one even coat. So even that right there, even if I draw around like that, it's still better. All right, same thing with this. And put it on, 50% overlap. see your dreams come to reality oh yeah it's looking good it's looking good can't believe I'm recording this in case I mess up it's all your guys' fault because I'm doing it for the content so one final sweep along the edges make sure we got coverage on everything there you go. That's your final coat. It's looking really, really good. That is awesome. All right, so it says to let that sit for 60 minutes at least before getting wet. As you guys can see, this thing looks immaculate. Now there are some small scratches right, you can't even see it on camera, but um, some of that will be on the inside of the lens, but overall this thing is perfect. So if you guys do do this and you see some scratches or cracks, I know I did this on my Spider at home, the K24 one, and that one didn't turn out nearly as good because that lens itself was cracked already and I didn't realize that because it was oxidized like that. But this one is in great condition. So it's always a nice surprise. Even if you do everything right, you might see some cracks, but Wow, that is clean. 
I didn't realize that these are actually paint mashed. The housings they usually come in chrome, but these are paint mashed to the car, which is nice. So I'm gonna have to black them out. That looks good. Wow, look at that. There you guys have it. The lighting is obviously brighter on this side, but both of them came out perfect. That's how this one came out. Exactly the same as the other side. Let me darken this. This is how this side came out. It came out perfect, just like the other side. No flaws on this one. And here's that same driver's side. Looking absolutely beautiful. It just completely changed the look of the car. Looks way more clean now as a car in general. My gosh, look at that. And here is the final look. Even cleaned the center front area. My gosh, this thing is clean. Just a little bonus video working on those trim pieces. This is kind of before, broken pop clips and these could just get super dry from the heat of the engine. And boom, brand new. Got this pop clip organizer. So I'll put that in the link description. It comes with like a bunch of pop clips, various sizes. So I found this used trim piece of a part of a car. This one's still dry too, but it's all in one piece and like those. And so it looks a lot better. It just looks a lot more mint. Look at that, before and after. All right, guys, and that is the final product. Super nice, super nice and sturdy. It looks good. Brand new pop clips all the way around. These fit snug, no play, no more dangling. It just ties in the whole thing together. Makes it look a lot less ratty, so that is awesome.